Hi, welcome to Couples Therapy Bites. I'm Erin. And I'm Steven. And today we're doing a little continuation of our Father's Day series. It's a two-part series. This is the second part. <laughs> I think it's a three-part series. I don't think we're going to do any more. But today we're going to do some stuff about fathers. Um, and uh, I think one of the things we were thinking about is what makes um, a good a good father. Um, and I think what we came to is what makes a good father is a good couple relationship. Wouldn't you say? I do. I think that it, the same can be said in reverse. What makes a good mother yes. is a good couple relationship. But this is uh, the June, the month of Father's yeah. Day. So yes. I moms, do. you'll have to wait your turn. It's not your turn yet. <laughs> uh, moms don't need to know how to be good moms. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yes, I totally think so. I, there's a famous story in my family um, mm -hmm. where my granddad, who is sort of this ethically wonderful father, husband, granddad, yeah. but um, said to his one of his sons, do you want to know how best to love your children? Love their mother. And, you know, that's passed down generational advice, but it's also really sound psychological yeah. Um, wisdom. Yeah, because the idea is that uh, when you look at child development, uh, you look at how um, children, how human beings attach and bond and become close uh, in relationships. Well, one of the fundamental things is that for children um, to be able to grow and develop freely is for them to feel safe in their home environment. And, you know, obviously, you know, caregivers um, are the ones who are in charge of creating that sense of safety. And so, um, one of the key aspects to, to having a safe home environment is to having a, a caregiving or couple relationship that is, that is loving and that is, um, there's not a lot of uh, conflict and violence and discord and um, just animosity uh, because kids see that and then they begin to feel unsettled about their environment. All sorts of dysregulation mm -hmm. and it, it literally stunts their physical growth yeah. for sure emotional growth. And I think that we, we can resonate with this. I, I mean, I grew up in a home where the, there was domestic violence. I mean, my, my parents were not uh, kind and loving to one another, and it most certainly impacted um, my development uh, as a child. And uh, so I think that, you know, as a father, now looking back at that, I, I think about like, how can I be a good dad? And so well, I can be a good dad by loving Aaron, by by speaking well of her, by it's okay if we have conflict, it's okay if For we sure. fight, but that do my kids see, how do they see me entering into conflict with Erin? Am I sitting there screaming and yelling and cussing at her? Or am I, uh, you know, or am I going back and resolving conflict with her? Am I apologizing when I need to apologize? Like, can they, do they see those things? Cause those kinds of things help them know like, oh, okay, we're, we're gonna be, we're going to be all right. Yeah, I think a lot of couples fall under the idea that kids don't need to see them fighting, mm -hmm. but kids know when there's conflict. Sure, Just yeah. like everybody knows when there's something happening in a room. And that's not the point. I mean, kids need to see you being kind and fighting in a healthy way, like we've right. discussed. Um, but also, I think that what you just said is the importance of kids seeing that resolution, mm -hmm. that of seeing it or being told how it came. You probably noticed mom and dad were fighting or we were frustrated with each other. We just wanted you to know. Mm -hmm. um, I had to apologize to dad. I, I wasn't being kind or I was being impatient or whatever the, yeah. the you know, child appropriate way of communicating that is. But how vitally important mm -hmm. that is for parenting and for the couple relationship. Yeah, yeah. And so um, if you want uh, to be a good dad, uh, be a good partner. Um, what is your relationship like with your partner? Um, are y'all loving one another? Um, if not, then what is, what is the work you need to do for that to change? Um, do you need to go to therapy? Do you need to... Yes, you do. Um, yeah, yeah. do <laughs> yes, you do. Um, do you need to you know, seek counsel from, from other people that you trust who have relationships that you trust? Um, that, that's what, that, is, that is fathering. Um, that is mothering. Um, and so um, we encourage you to, to be a good dad and to be a good mom by loving each other. And that's hard. Uh, we, I think we've expressed how, how hard that can be um, in other episodes, but... Um, there also is no greater joy. Yeah, yeah. So keep doing the work. Um, and, uh, you know, comment below. What are your thoughts? What are the things that you found that um, have helped 
Um, Y'all be good moms and dads. And to all of you couples out there who are parents, uh, happy Father's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day. Share us with your friends. Don't be shy. Subscribe. <laughs> See you next time.